Hi guys, I'm Paul, this is Harry, and um, today I thought I'd talk to you about um, something I really enjoy doing with Harry, which is slinging. Uh, big hello to you guys out there who uh, are fellow slingers on YouTube, and uh, to all you guys at slinging.org, thank you for all the information you've given me over the years. So the sling's made up of three parts. You've got the loop, which goes on your finger. Okay, that leads down to sometimes referred to as the cradle or the pocket or the pouch basically it's the bit that in my case holds the ball and then the last part is the knot it comes down to a knot it's called the trigger knot or the release knot it's basically the bit that you let go of so what we're going to do is we're going to take the bit with the loop and we're going to put it on a finger now traditionally it goes on the middle finger but I found that I prefer the ring finger and when it goes on the finger it doesn't go all the way down onto the last part of the hand it actually goes down on that last knuckle and then what we do is how I find it the easiest way to do it is I come where the pouch is or the pocket and I grab it like I'm pinching somebody's nose thumb up palm facing me and I slide it down until I meet the knot and I pinch I don't grip a pinch like this the ball goes here now this is a split it, sometimes you have a hole but this is mine's a, a split it, the ball sits on the sling not in it so it doesn't sit like this it actually sits on it just like that and all we do is bring it down and rest it down to our side So now we come to the fun part, actually using the sling. The sling is just an extension of your arm. There are many, many styles out there. The style I'm actually going to show you is, is um, underarm. It's, it's real basic, real nice and easy to get you started. So all we're going to do is, we're going to place the sling down to the side. Now, it's very important that a lot of people when they start slinging, they think it's all about muscle, about being big and strong, and it isn't. I'm talking to you guys out there, you know you are. It's not about muscle, it's about using the, the weight of the ball and the sling itself. So all we're going to do is, I'm going to bend at the elbow, and I'm going to use the wrist. I'm going to swing, in a minute, I'm going to swing the ball around two or three times, and again, another question that's asked a lot is, when do you know, when's the right time to release the sling, or release the ball rather? And the answer is, it's very difficult, you actually just feel it that's the only way I can explain it, you'll just feel, you'll just know as the ball comes around on the backswing you'll just feel when to release it the other important thing is, and this sounds really strange is I actually, when I sling, I don't actually throw the ball I actually throw the knot, I release the knot so wherever I want the ball to go, I actually put the knot in that place so all I'm going to do is going to swing it around a few times and when I'm ready, I'm going to look, make sure there's nobody in my way and when I'm ready, I'm going to actually release the knot, not the ball. I'm going to actually throw the knot. So here we go. So as you can see from that first one, with very, very little effort, you can get a ball quite some distance. If you're doing it properly, if you're not using your muscles and you're letting the sling, the sling and the ball do the work for you, you can do this all day. All day. So let's have another go. I'll do it from the front. So again, we're going to swing it round. And when I'm ready, I'm going to release the knot, not the ball. I'm going to throw the knot. Here we go. Okay, one more time. So remember, get yourself in a nice stance, shoulder width apart, bend at the elbow, use the wrist, swing it around a few times, get used to the weight of the ball, and when you're ready, release that knot. Good boy.
So, I hope you found this video helpful for all the guys out there who have just started slinging. For all you guys out there who continue to make fantastic videos, keep up the good work. Loving all your work, keep it, keep it going. A big shout out and a big thank you to slinging.org for all the information you've given me over the years. Just keep, just keep doing what you're doing guys, it is fantastic. So, other than that, for me, Paul, my dog Crazy Harry, have fun, be safe, keep on slinging.